Okay. I have selected one way ANOVA. I have to compare the total marks. You can either take total marks or percentage of marks. You can take total marks. Okay. And then bring it here. And then this is your dependent variable. This is the dependent list. Factor. Because it is one way ANOVA, because it is one way ANOVA, factor only one factor can be included. It is one way ANOVA, only one factor can be included. Okay? So, what is the factor? Sections. Right? This is sections. So, I brought it, I am bringing it here. Okay? So, sections. And then now we have to select descriptives. So, descriptives and homogeneity of variance test we have to select. All right? Okay. Continue. So what did I do? I went here, analyze, and then I brought selected one way ANOVA in compare means. Okay. So let me say, okay, I'll again show it to you once again. Let us see how we get the results. These are the results of one way ANOVA. In section A, there are 37 students, 32 under B. 31 under C. These are the means. We have taken the total marks. We have not taken percentages. Okay, 59, 69, 61. These are the standard deviations. Okay. Now, 11th test. We are comparing the variance of section A with section B and section C. What is 11th test saying? What is the results of 11th test? Homogeneity of variance is assumed or not assumed? Significance 0 0.00, no? So that means what? Hmm? What is the null hypothesis? See, the null hypothesis is this. Variance, variance of section A is same as variance of section B is same as variance of section C. This is our null hypothesis. And we are rejecting this. That means there is no homogeneity of variances. We are violating the condition. Okay? We are violating the condition of one way ANOVA. Levin's test. Levin's test is used to test the homogeneity of variances. This is what we discovered when we did T test. Right? So this is one. Okay? Now, that means what? See here, is it really true? Is it really true that we are violating? See, you, you should not believe the statistics. You should not just believe statistics. You should also, you know, see the numbers and then try to infer from the result. See, what is the variance of sec section C? It is 2.4. What is the variance of section A? It is 7. This is 2, this is 7. Okay, this is almost 2.5. This is almost 7. There is a steep variation, steep difference, right? So that is why Levin's test has given you significant. Okay, see, once you get significance, you should also be, you know, you should have reasons why it is happening like that. Okay, why is it happening like that? Why is Levin's test giving us a significant result? Because our variance standard deviation of section C is 2.4, section A is 7. And then this is in between. They are not comparable. So what Levin's test is saying is, variances are not comparable. There is so much of difference in the variances. That is why this, is, this has come out to be significant. Okay, fine. Now let us go to the result. Okay. This is the summary of one-way ANOVA result. This is the summary of one-way ANOVA. Okay. Now between groups, within groups. Okay. There are three groups. So the degree of freedom is two. There are 100 students, so the total is 99, 100 minus 1 is 99, okay? This is the F value, F value is 35.286, this is the significance, this is the significance. So how do you interpret this result? The mean of section A is same as mean of section B is same as mean of section C, that is our null hypothesis, that will be our null hypothesis. And what are we going to do now? We are going to 
reject that null hypothesis. Why? Because this has come out to be significant. Significant means this value is much less than 0 0.05. This value is so much less than 0 0.05. That means we are going to reject that null hypothesis with 100% confidence. And what are we going to conclude? We are going to conclude that mean of section A is not equal to mean of section B is not equal to mean of section C. That means all the three groups are not same. same. They are not performing. Students from section A and students from section B and students of section C, they are not performing similar to each other. <coughs> that is the conclusion. All right? Any doubts here? Yeah, we have, we have violated the condition. Two conditions we have violated. One is normality condition is not met. Earlier I showed you normality. Yes. That normality condition is not met. We have to, I have to show you know, how ANOVA has. Okay. Well, we should not do. But if you do, how will you interpret the result? I will also tell what, what is the now, what is the solution. That also we will discuss. Okay. We should not do. We should not go ahead. So, but, but you will not find all this in the thesis, no. They will do ANOVA, they will write the result over story. Okay? Okay? Now, see what, now what is the, please, let us conclude this, let us quickly complete this. Now, one way ANOVA, we are doing one way ANOVA, and then we are comparing the means of students from three different sections. Now, what is the, what is the conclusion, final conclusion? There is a significant difference. There is a significant difference in the performance of students belonging to three different sections. Sections from... <coughs> Students from belonging to section A are not performing similar to students in B and C. They are all different from each other. They are all different from each other. But then you will be interested if you are saying they are all different from each other. But then which section is doing good? Which section is doing bad? Which section is not doing so well? How will you come to know? How will you come to know? So obviously, we have to compare the means only. So, see here, which section is doing good? 69.5. Section B is doing so good. Then who is next? Section C. Then section A is? Then based on the means, can we say that section B is superior to section A and section C is lowest? Can we say like that? Why not? So there is variance also because we have to test the uh, Why no? Because why no? Because the significant f value, the significant f value in analysis of variance will only permit you to take a decision to say whether they are same or different. Okay? You can only say it, you can only just take a call, you can only confer, you can only infer whether they are same or different. Beyond that you cannot tell anything. The significant f value will only help you in drawing a conclusion stating that they are all same or different. If you have accepted null hypothesis there, then we will say all A is same as B is same as C. Now what is the situation? We are rejecting the null hypothesis. That means we are saying A is not same as B, B is not same as C and all the three are different. So once you say that they are different, then if you want to know which group is different from the other three and which group is better, which group is in between, which group is lowest and in such cases you have to do another test that is called post hoc test, post hoc. Analyze, compare means, okay, how to do ANOVA? Analyze, compare means, okay, one way ANOVA, see here, analyze, compare means, one way ANOVA, okay. So you have to select the variables here, then you have to select this post hoc. <coughs> okay? These are the different post hocs here. Know it? So these are the different post hocs you have to select. Equal variances assumed, equal variances not assumed. Okay? So which test we can use? 
okay generally generally if our equal variances assumed condition is met then in such cases we will select Dunnett's test okay so let us go ahead with this Dunnett all right let us go ahead with this Dunnett because see there are two different types of post hoc one is for equal variance assumed one is for equal variance not assumed okay so you have to use either this or this or this or this okay you can select this also this is pairwise comparison okay but let me assume that equal variance assumed condition is then then we will select this and then we will we will use this two key we will not use done it we'll use two key all right okay i've selected one two key okay to see how it happens let us go further and then learn right now homogeneity of variance condition is violated this is significant now these are the results of post hoc these are the results of post hoc now please see here we are comparing section a with b a with c if you have three if you have three sections you have to compare a with b a with c, a with c and b with c you have to you will have how many comp combinations three combinations no okay now tell me a and b a with c and b and c okay now b and c first a and b this is a and b right this is a and b is it significant this is significant a and b is significant right a and b is 